right? So get this. Um, I've been going through a ton of reactions to this one anime episode. And it's like everyone just went crazy for this character, Angelica. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like looking into the heart of fandom, right? I mean, these reactions, they're way more than just reviews. It's like this outpouring of pure emotion. Yeah. And the thing is, um, they're laser focused on some, well, pretty specific stuff. Like everyone keeps talking about Angelica's uh, transformation, calling her this beautiful woman now. And I'm just like, what was she before? Some kind of scary monster. Well, the word uh, skeleton pops up a lot, so maybe not exactly a, a monster, but uh, definitely a big change. You know, transformations in anime, they're they are rarely just about looks, right? It's more about showing some deeper change, like, you know, over overcoming some big obstacle. Okay, so are we talking like literally shedding a, a skeleton body or more like getting rid of emotional baggage? Maybe a little bit of both. Think about it. They're, you know, celebrating her newfound beauty, but they're also excited about her being able to, you know, connect with people, make friends, even get invited to take a bath. Hold on, a bath. That seems like a, a pretty specific thing to be so excited about. But think about what it what it symbolizes, right? A bath. It's cleansing. It's a fresh start. It's also kind of a vulnerable moment, which lets the viewers see her in a in a normal everyday setting. And that kind of intimacy it builds a connection. Okay, so it's not just about a, a makeover. It's about Angelica re-entering the world, yeah? Yeah. Washed clean of, of whatever she went through before. Oh, and get this. They're all going on about her new acquaintances and even a wife. Ah, yes. The relationship roller coaster. Anime, you know it. It loves to play with symbolism. So wife could be literal. It could be... Uh, figurative, who knows? But what really stands out is how happy the viewers are to see Angelica being embraced, being cared for, you know, part of a community. Speaking of community, there's this one quote that really jumps out. I don't know how this one woman isekai of all things manages to have such a large female cast, but it still managed to be so enjoyable and pleasant to watch. Now that that's really interesting. They're pointing out a possible um, subversion of the the genre's expectations isekai for for those who don't know is where a character gets you know transported to another world usually it's a lone hero's journey but here we've got this supportive female community you know that, that's refreshing for a lot of viewers especially those who are uh tired of the lone wolf trope yeah it, it really makes you think about what what draws people into certain stories right? yeah i mean we're talking about a, a bath scene here mm -hmm. not exactly um epic adventures and and yet it's hitting these viewers you know right in the field right right it's it's the, because it it taps into something universal you know that longing for a fresh start for mm -hmm. for kindness and, and acceptance seeing angelica experience that even in in this fantasy world it resonates deeply with people you know it's it's like a a little dose of of emotional wish fulfillment you know what else is interesting how how they go on and on about angelica barely speaking like they're more invested because of it yeah, yeah, that that says a lot about the the power of visual storytelling in anime. They're yeah. they're captivated by her expressions, her her gestures, the the way she conveys emotion without without words. It's it's like her silence makes her eventual spoken words that that much more powerful. Yeah, yeah. There there's this one line where a viewer says, "Whatever the case may be, I don't care how uncomfortable it would be because I think it's incredibly sweet and simply a part of her now." That once she does bring out words, it must be something that is really significant. It's it's like they're they're hanging on to her every unspoken thought. Exactly, it builds anticipation. You know, yeah. making every interaction, every every little gesture, pregnant with with meaning. This this is where anime truly shines. You know, it's about those subtle visual cues that draw you you know deeper into the character's world. Okay, but we we can't ignore the the elephant in the room, or should I say the skeleton in the bathhouse. Mm -hmm. Ruka keeps keeps popping up in these reactions. Who who is this character and and what's their deal with Angelica? Well, from the the snippets we're seeing, it sounds like Haruka might be the the protagonist of this anime and and possibly the one who who brought Angelica back to well, not being a, a skeleton anymore. Wait, are we saying Angelica was was literally dead? There are lines like Haruka gave to Angelica and Haruka who is the master of random crap it suggests a dynamic where where Haruka's actions directly impact, you know, Angelica's well-being. It's it's giving off some serious resurrection vibes. So not only did did Haruka possibly bring her back to life, but also gave her this new beautiful woman form. That that has a whole other layer to their to their relationship. Absolutely. The viewers are are invested in both their individual journeys but also in the the unfolding dynamic between them, you know, is it friendship? Is it is it something more? That mystery is is clearly part of the allure. 
And, and you know, all this talk about new acquaintances and, and wife takes on a, a whole new meaning. If, if Angelica literally got a second chance at life, it's, it's like they're celebrating her ability to, to form these bonds after such a, a profound experience. It, it speaks to that, that deep-seated human need for, for connection, especially after, after hardship, you know? Seeing Angelica thrive in, in this new life, surrounded by people who, who care for her, it's, it's incredibly heartwarming. It's, it's a reminder that, that even after loss, even after hitting rock bottom, there's, there's always a possibility for joy and, and connection. You know, it's really kind of amazing how, how these viewers are finding so much depth in what, what seems like a pretty pretty straightforward story, right? A, a girl transforms, makes friends, finds happiness, mm -hmm. but but there's clearly something something more going on, like like beneath the surface. You know? Yeah, it's the the emotional weight they're giving to to things that seem you know kind of mundane, right? Like like a bath becomes a symbol of renewal. A new outfit means means acceptance. A, a shared meal represents connection. It's it's like they're seeing Angelica's healing journey reflected in in every little detail. And and it, it makes me think about how powerful um visual storytelling can be, you know. Yeah. Especially in, in anime, right? They're they're captivated by Angelica's nonverbal communication, like like her <laughs> silence, is is actually saying a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's it's about those those subtle glances, you know, those those hes hesitant touches, the the way the way her expressions change. Anime it it really excels at at conveying emotion through through those little details, and it it draws the the viewer in, in, in on a, a much deeper level. Yeah, there's there's a real sense of anticipation, like they're they're holding their breath waiting for her to, to finally speak and when she does it's it's not just you know dialogue it's it's like a, a combination of of all those those unspoken emotions right exactly it makes those those moments of, of verbal expression you know so much more powerful because because they've been they've been earned through this this period of of non-verbal communication you know it's it's a testament to the the skill of the the animators and the the writers for for creating such a, a nuanced and and emotionally resonant resident character and i think it speaks to to our own you know desire for for connection for for understanding we we live in a, a world where communication can can feel so so surface level so it's it's refreshing to see a yeah. a story that celebrates the the power of of unspoken language of, of those quiet moments of, of yeah. connection yeah it's it's a, a reminder that that sometimes the the most profound communication it, it happens without without words it's it's about empathy intuition that that unspoken understanding that can can form between between two people and and in in angelica's case it's it's clear that that those those nonverbal connections are are paving the way for for deeper more more meaningful relationships so, so as we wrap up this deep dive, what's what's the biggest takeaway for, for our listener? What what can they they glean from this this hive mind of of anime enthusiasts? I, I think it's it's a, a reminder that that even in in a, a fantastical world, the the things that that truly resonate are are the the human elements. You know, the yeah. the desire for for connection, the the joy of, of acceptance, the the power of, of kindness, and and sometimes the the simplest stories told told with with heart and and nuance are are the ones that that stay with us. You know, long long after the credits roll. Beautifully put. Yeah. And and who knows, maybe maybe this deep dive will will inspire our our listener to to explore the the world of anime themselves you know to yeah. to discover the the magic that that lies in, in those unspoken moments those those subtle expressions those those quest connections that that make us us feel feel truly alive yeah. until until next time keep keep exploring keep keep questioning keep keep seeking out those those stories that that speak to to your soul 